Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about product of two binomials. So product of two binomials, um, meaning when we say product, multiplication. So we're going back to multiplication to discuss on special products. Special products. When we say special products, ito yung multiplication of polynomials with specific patterns. Okay, so they are called special products. So with this, we are going to master the FOIL method. Okay, and of course, um, apply the distributive property you know, in multiplication. So, FOIL method. When we use FOIL method, FOIL method, F stands for the first terms, the outer terms, which is O, and the I stands for the inner terms, and L stands for the last terms. So, in multiplying two binomials, tandaan. Two binomials, dalawang binomial. So, dalawang terms yung multiply natin. So, we have here, um, in our example, find the product of x plus 2 and x plus 5. So, x plus 2 is a binomial, dalawang terms yan. And x plus 5 is also a binomial. So, dalawang terms pa rin. So, we are going to use the FOIL method. Okay? So, pag nag-multiply tayo ng dalawang binomials... We are. We can use the FOIL method. So we have x plus two times x plus five. Okay, x plus two times x plus five. Let's use the FOIL method. So una natin is yung first term. So we have x times x. So first terms ng binomials, uh, and we have x times x. That's x squared. Okay. Then, next, we have the outer terms. Let's write here the FOIL method. Okay, tapos na natin yung first terms. Next, yung outer terms, yung nasa labas, ano? We have x and 5. Okay, x and 5. So, we have x times 5, that is 5x. So, plus 5x. Next, we have the inner terms, yung nasa loob. Ito silang dalawa. So, we have 2 and x. Okay, 2 and x. So, we have 2 times x, that's 2x. Right? And L, the last terms of the binomial, we have 2 and 5. So, we have 2 times 5, that is 10. And then after that, we are going to combine like terms. Okay? Like terms. So, ano ba ang mga, may mga like terms dito? Of course, si x squared wala naman. Si 5x at saka si 2x. Iko-combine natin yan. So, we have x squared plus 5x plus 2x. That's 7x plus 10. Okay? And so, the product is x squared plus 7x plus 10. So, ganyan lang yung FOIL method. Okay? Yan, x squared plus 7x plus 10. Next, we have the distributive property of multiplication. So, when we say distributive property of mul multiplication, we distribute, ano, yung uh, term na nasa labas, i-distribute natin siya dito sa, uh, sa lahat ng terms na nasa loob ng parentheses. So, yung a, i-multiply natin kay b. So, that becomes a, b. And then, i-multiply din natin siya kay C. So, that becomes AC. Alright? So, example, find the product of X plus 2 and X plus 5 using distributive property. So, as you have noticed, the same example, ano, nung ginamit natin sa FOIL method. Okay? So, this time, we are going to multiply these using distributive property. So, yung FOIL method kanina... Ginawa natin yung first terms, yung outer terms, okay? yung x, minultiply natin dun sa first term, at saka yung outer terms, and then yung inner terms, at saka yung last term. So, that's the FOIL method. Okay? However, when we use, um, when we use the distributive property, it, it's going to be almost the same, no? Almost the same. Erase ko lang itong mga arrow na ito. Okay, and let's have the distributive property. When we use the distributive property, itong mga terms na ito, yung x at saka ang 2, i-multiply natin dito sa binomial. So, we have x times ito, x plus 5. And then, we have plus 2, plus 2, 
multiply din natin dito. Times x plus 5. Okay? So, that's distributive. Lagyan natin ng mark. Si x, multiply natin dito. And then, si 2, i-multiply din natin sa whole, ano, sa lahat, sa second binomial. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, we distribute each term of the first binomial to the term, to the binomial itself, to, to the second binomial. Okay? And after that, we simplify further. We apply the distributive property. So, x times x, that's x squared. And then, x times 5, that's 5x. Then, we have plus 2. So, positive 2 times x, that's 2x. Positive 2 times 5, that's 10. Okay? And then, com combine like terms. So, we have these like terms. So, that is x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay? So, we got the same answer. So, when we multiply binomials, kahit nagamitin mo si FOIL method or si distributive property, you will arrive at the same answer. Okay? So, again, that's FOIL method and distributive property of multiplication. Let's have this another example. Find the product of x plus 8 and x minus 6 using the FOIL method. FOIL method. So, F-O-I-L. So, we have x plus 8 times x plus, minus 6. x minus 6. Alright? So, first terms una, x times x, that's x squared. And then we have the outer terms, x times 6. Okay, that's negative 6x. And then we have the inner terms, 8 times x. So that's 8x. And then we have the last terms, positive 8 times negative 6. That is negative 48. And so, combine like terms. The like terms are negative 6x and 8x. So we have x squared. Then we have negative and positive, so we subtract, and we get the sign of the greater number. That's 8, so positive ang 8, so the answer is positive. And so we subtract kasi unlike sign sila, so 8 minus 6 is 2. So our answer is 2x minus 48. Okay? And so the product is x squared plus 2x minus 48. Example number 2. Use distributive property of multiplication to find the product of 2x minus 3 and 3x minus 1. So that is 2x minus 3 times 3x minus 1. So distributive property tayo. So lahat ng terms, isa-isa ng terms ng first binomial, i-distribute natin or i-multiply natin dito sa second binomial. And so that is 2x times 3x minus 1 minus 3. Okay, minus 3 times 3x minus 1. Alright? And so, applying the distributive property for each one, we have 2x times 3x, that's 6x squared. 2x times negative 1, that's negative 2x. Okay? Then we have negative 3 times 3x, that is negative 9x. Negative 3 times negative 1, negative, negative, so that becomes positive. Multiplication kasi, no? So, negative 3 times negative 1, that's positive 3. And then, combine like terms. So, we have 6x squared. Um, these are the like terms, negative 2x minus 9x, kapwa negative. So, mag add tayo and we copy the common sign. So, 2x plus 9x, that is 11x and then we have plus 3. So, the product is 6x squared minus 11x plus 3. 